Hey everybody, so ignore the mess around me, I'm going to try and clean it up later on. Also, um, my face has got a bit really spotty and this is because of my change of diet. As I said, going from the vegetarian sort of um, alkaline diet that I was on before onto a normal meat eating, dairy eating diet. So it has really had an effect and a lot of sugar as well. So I'm going to try and cut back and go a bit more healthier. But um, anyway, today I wanted to come to you to do a book review. So uh, this book review is going to be based off a book called 1996 and it's by Gloria Naylor. And she is the most famous targeted individual, um, I believe. So Gloria Gaynor was a black a writer and she wrote a lot of books regarding the black life experience. And somebody suggested this to me. It was by, I think it's Sulwyn Greenfirth. Sulwyn Greenfirth. Anyway, she suggested or he suggested that I re read this book and do a review, a review on it. So this is my, it's going to be my review on the book 1996. Now this book I've, this is as I said written by a famous author who she, her other books that she wrote are, the, the most famous one she has written is The Women of Brewster Place, um, she also has Linda Hill's The Meaning of a Word, um, Mama Day, Bailey's Cafe, Children of the Night, The Men of Brewster Place and then this book 1996. So this book here is an interesting book because this is the last book that she actually wrote. And this was the, she, after writing this book, she couldn't write any more books and this was due to her targeting. And she, um, in this book, she goes through her experiences as a targeted individual and how it started. And she goes a bit into detail, a little bit of detail about her life, but not too much into detail about her life. But you get to get, you get to gain a good understanding of her experience um, being targeted. It is only a short book, this book. This took me about an hour, a few hours to read. Um, so I, I was able to do it in maybe two sittings, but in the same day. So, and the book isn't the, as big as you think it is. I think it goes up to about, at the back of the book, she has a lot of stuff about targeted, targeted individuals, um, the technology and the, so it only goes to about that much of the book is actually regarding her experience. So I would say overall, this book wasn't bad. It was a good attempt to try and summarise what it feels like to be a targeted individual. I did grasp, grasp from it, like the feelings of that, although I am biased because obviously I have experienced it myself, but it made it a little bit, a little bit more believable, um, just to experience her experiences that she was going through, that it could have been from uh, um, outside sources. Because the way she, she does this book is that she has two um, plot lines. So you have her her experiences that she's going through, and then it switches to age to the agents who are control who are affecting her life, who are sort of targeting her, and so you get the two perspectives, and so it makes it a little bit more easier to understand what's going on. Whereas if it was just somebody explaining their experiences, then you probably wouldn't believe that somebody else was doing it. But she flips between um, herself, her own experiences, and then experience of the, the agents who are targeting her. Um, a lot of the beginning of the story is very similar to what I experienced when I was going through my targeting. She talks about how she went to get a nice house out in, um, you know, sub suburban area, like a little islandish kind of area in um, New York, I think, and how she started to, she had a, a fallout with the neighbour over her cats. The neighbour that she fell out with had a brother who was working for one of these um, secret services or higher government agents, agencies. And he started to set the ball rolling in terms of her being targeted. And so it's, it is an interesting read. I would say that for me personally as a targeted individual, I, I wasn't so keen on the other perspective of seeing it from the agent's point of view. I was more interested because when she, the book starts off really well and I, I was really interested in finding out about her and her experiences and what she went through. So I would have, me personally, I would prefer that she just rolled out all of her experiences, what she went through, how she experienced it. But um, I think for people who have no clue what targeting is, it's very important that she did put the other aspect of it from the agent's point of view and and shown it from their angle. So um, it was a, an interesting read. I think um, people who read it will probably start to grasp the understanding of what is going on and how targeting is being affected. At the back of the book, she has like a whole few chapter, like a chapter or so on just the, um, the patents and 
and patents that have been taken out and the kind of technology that we're dealing with which i think is very important for people to understand that this is actually achievable that they can actually target people within in their own private space she talked a lot about um in the beginning about being gaslighted now and also she talked a lot about having made noise making her very sensitive and that was to me very interesting because that's what happened to me in my in the beginning of my experiences they started to target me by people slamming doors in cars outside and making loads of noise like neighbors started to like i don't know start projects suddenly start doing work projects in their houses whenever whenever i was around and it was very strange and another thing i wanted to mention about this book was that she mentions in here when she started to hear the voices she could only hear them from one room and it was only when she was in one in the pacific room she believed that that was because there was neighbors next door were the ones who allowed CIA agents into their into their uh, like into their house to target her from that wall, and to me that shows me the, the like the development in the technology because but then they could only target her from one room. I remember when I first started to, to like acknowledge, acknowledge being a targeted individual, they were able to target me with hearing my thoughts and you know back and forth like they could hear my thoughts and they can send me thoughts. But I remember that they couldn't hear certain thoughts. If I did certain things, they wouldn't be able to hear it. So um, now, though, however, all that has changed. They can hear every type of thought I have, and all of the, even the, all the quiet spaces that I have in my mind that I go to. And this is because the technology has developed so much. So it's interesting to see how technology has developed from her her experience from back then when they could only target her in certain spaces and to now where they can just hear everybody's thoughts all the time. So I feel like that is a leap in the technology that um, is being exposed there. But I say definitely for all targeted individuals, it is definitely worth going out there to get this book and read it. She did die, and to me I think it's quite suspicious that she died exactly the age when she hit 66. Um, she died of a heart attack, I believe it was. Um, so she was 66 years old when she passed away. And she was the first one to bring out this book. And I think she's the, probably the first targeted individual who has who had any fame who actually tried to, you know, tackle or put out some information about herself, or about the programme in, in, in the public. So I do, like, I appreciate her efforts and all the work that she has done. And I imagine she, she, as she does explain herself, it was very hard for her to write this book after being targeted. So, and I completely understand and have sympathy for that. So, and this was the last book she wrote. She, she wasn't able to write another book after this. And so that's, and I understand how they do that. They do that by messing with your mind. And I've had that experience myself. So I do like feel for her. Um, so anyway, I do advise that, you know, you go get this book. You won't be able to get it on Kindle, sorry, but um, you can get it on uh, Amazon. I think you can get it on Amazon. Like just, you have to order the book by itself. You can't get it on any of the other um, platforms. So, um, yeah, and it took me a while to find this book because when I typed into her account on Wikipedia, it didn't talk about this book, and which is the weirdest thing because I think this is probably one of the most interesting parts of her life, but it doesn't talk about anything regarding this book, her experience or anything like that. It just talks about all the previous books that she was known for, and it kind of skips over this one. So, anyway, I would advise you to go get this. Um, it doesn't take long to read. Uh, yeah, but it's, you know, and those people who want to understand what's going on or have no clue what targeting is, this would also be a very good book for those people to understand what we experience and what goes on. So anyway, that's what I want to say about that. Um, I'm going to leave you to it, guys. Um, take care. Bye.